Hi everyone, I am your Punnam Venkat. This is SAP SD Demo Class 2. Who are watching directly this class 2? My suggestion is first watch class 1, then later you can watch class 2. So I can give the link on description. You can watch first class 1, then you can watch this class 2. In this class 2 demo, we will try to understand how many types of SAP projects. So yesterday we discussed what is meant by SAP and uh, what is meant by ERP and uh, how many types of jobs available if you learn SAP. So a lot of objectives we will discuss in the last class. So now we will discuss how many types of projects in the SAP. Everyone, we have majorly we have four types of projects like implementation project, supporting project, rollout project, and enhancement project. So, what is meant by implementation project? What is meant by supporting project? What is meant by rollout project? What is meant by enhancement project? Everyone, in the demo, I can give you some small information about the projects on the classes, regular classes. We will discuss more each and every stage. Okay, first try to understand some basic information about the projects. Let us assume first try to understand what is meant by implementation project. What is meant by implementation projects? Let's open the Excel. Let's open Excel. <clears throat> Everyone, let us assume. <laughs> so, now try to understand implementation project. Try to understand implementation project. Example, now let's take one company. The company name is called RM Group of Company. RM Group of Company. This is the company name. In this company, we have several departments. Which departments? Example, uh, you know, let us assume we have uh, example sales department, sales department, and uh, purchase department or marketing department, whatever, and finance department and uh, HR department. HR department, some XYZ. First, try to understand this company, everyone. In this company, we have several departments like uh, sales department, purchase department, finance department, HR departments, blah, 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 XYZ. Before SAP implementation, what happened? Let us assume before SAP implementation, what happened? So before SAP implementation, example, this HR department use timesheet tools. Which tools they will use? Timesheet tools. Timesheet tools. Timesheet software. Timesheet software. Example, this finance department will use then tally software. Which software? Let us assume they will use for the tally software. And uh, this purchase department will use, let us assume, some JV tool. JV tool software. Software name is called JV tool. And uh, sales department use then uh, SM tool. SM tool. Whatever, whatever software they will use. So what happened here? What you people want to understand here? The sales department users using in this software. Purchase department users using in JV tool. And finance department users using in tally. HR department users using in time shoot tool. So each department using in different different softwares. In case, in case everyone, if you want finance related information, you want to go tally software. 
If you want HR related information, you want to go timesheet tools. If you want sales related information, you want to go SM tools. Like different, different softwares. Even client can't be understand why we want to use this many softwares. Different, different departments want to use different, different uh, softwares. Different, different requirement. We are using different, different softwares. Why? Why not only one software or why not only one tool for all business requirements like sales, purchase, finance, and HR and PM, I mean, plant management, product management, blah, 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 etc. Why not? Why why don't why don't want to use only one software? Everyone, the solution is the solution is SAP. The solution is SAP system application production data process. System application production data process. So only one software, I mean, this software, this SAP software can use all the departments. For example, finance department requirements available in SD and HR, I mean, finance, you can use SA, I mean, MM, finance, FICO and HR, core HR module. In the SAP, we have different, different modules. Only one software have different, different modules. For each department, SAP introduced one module for business requirement purpose. So this, all the users, all the users, in the place of this many softwares, they can use only one software, SAP software, for all business requirements. Now the client simply they will log in to SAP. They can take whatever information they want. Whatever information they want. So SAP implementation means everyone. SAP implementation means. SAP implementation means. So as a consulting example, let us assume Delight is a consulting firm. So we are the consultant. We are the consultant. So what we need to do? We want to migrate the data. We want to move the data non-SAP system to SAP system. Non-SAP system, we are called as a legacy systems. SAP system, we are called as a SAP system. Non-SAP systems, example, tally system or software, whatever. Tally is one system or software. Tally, one software. Timesheet tool, one software. This is, I mean, systems or software, both are same name. For example, non-software, non-SAP software to SAP software. We are called as a, in the technical point of view, non-SAP system to SAP system. All the data we need to migrate or we want to move SAP system, non-SAP system to SAP system. So who want to work as a consultant want to work? Maybe any consulting firm, Deloitte, IBM, Cognogent, Accenture, a lot of consulting firms are there. So this consulting firm, so consulting firm, this is the consulting firm. And this is a client. Who is client? PM group of companies, your client. So this is the users, like sales department users, finance department users, HR department users. Like RM group of company employees is called users or end users. And we are called, example, now we are working in Deloitte. We are called as a consultants. So we want to migrate the data, non-SAP system to SAP system. Once after completing the implementation, after completing the implementation, all the users before SAP implementation, they can use this many softwares. 
once after sap implementation all the users they want to use on sap for example all sales related uh, inquiry quotation billing outbound delivery all all the sales related activities previously they can use sm tool now after sap implementation they want to use sap even finance people also previously like you know uh, vendor payment customer payment vendor invoice customer invoice and gl invoice credit memo debit memo some all the finance related activities before sap implementation they can use the tally after sap implementation they want to use sap example i taken this softwares everyone maybe different software they can use okay so this is called who can implement this who can migrate the data non sap system to sap system the consultant want to do that it's called implementation so what is the duration of implementation project so minimum one year two and two years everyone minimum one year to two years this is called implementation so how exactly they can migrate how exactly they will do it and each consultant how they will involve how they will migrate non sap system to sap system each and every point in depthly we will discuss in depthly we will discuss simply follow our channel subscribe our channel okay if you like this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe if you are not like video no problem don't subscribe if you like then you can subscribe okay everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here so this is called sap implementation and for example before sap implementation all the sap users using this uh, this many tools after sap implementation they can use sap is called implementation okay the next the next project is called supporting project next project is called supporting project so what is meant by supporting project why supporting project everyone so try to understand here simple phenomena i can explain you simple definition everyone concentrate here, everyone try to understand some basic information now in the coming classes i can explain you in depthly everyone supporting project means try to understand everyone before sap implementation before sap implementation all the users all the users using in different softwares after sap implementation they can use the sap now let us assume now they are using in the sap now they are using in the sap so during the sap usage means all the users they are using in the sap during the sap usage in case if they face any problem in sap for example they are posting the quotation during the quotation if if they face any problem they can contact to the client or they can sorry they can contact to the consulting so consultant want to involve and they want to resolve the problem and the user will posting the invoice in case during the posting the invoice if you face any problem in the sap they can approach the consultant and consultant will resolve so user will trying to generate the report in case if you face any problem during the uh, report generation they will contact to the consultant consultant will resolve the problem so what you people want to understand here the user end user wherever they can freeze their job on the sap so consultant will involve and they can unfreeze for example everyone for example we are we are purchasing one mobile 
we are purchasing the mobile then we are using the mobile in case during the mobile usage if you face any problem our mic is not working and uh, we are unable to open any app something some back end server issue i mean software issue what we will do we can go to supporting center that people can rectify our issue same scenario here same to same scenario same to same scenario like if you face any problem the user will face any problem during the sap usage the consultant will involve and they will resolve the problem is called supporting project so how they will approach the consultant how they will resolve the problem what is the resolving process which tools they can use we will discuss each and every point each and every point both ways see in our class we will cover the end to end process of end user and end to end process of consultant end to end process of consultant okay and this is called supporting project maximum supporting project let us assume 2 years to 20 years it's a long process actually maximum the duration of supporting project 2 years to 20 years it's a long process okay yeah so next one everyone now i am giving just basics everyone so on the demo we do not have that much time to discuss in depthly so coming classes we will discuss more the next one next one is called rollout project what is mean by rollout project why rollout project and everyone let us assume let us assume one company the company name is called everyone one company company name is called ima group of company ima group of company everyone catch the point here everyone catch the point here what is the company name company name is called uh, ima group of company ima group of company so this company located in us where it is located this company located in us this company located in us or usc usc where they located they are located in usa there they are using in sap in the usa they are using in sap for example ima group of company located in usa in the usa in the usa users they are already using in sap so now this company has been expand let us assume this company has been expand us to india us to india so this company has been expand due to they are growing the business us to india they are expanding their business so in us in us they are using in sap in us they are using in sap then the, even in india also they want to use in sap obviously india also they want to use in sap obviously why because they are already using in sap they are they have some hands on experience they are already knows sap so users can't be take the risk <laughs> so that is the reason so there they are using sap and here also they can use the sap now everyone in india if you want to use the sap there is some problem why which problem which problem means in us we have different currency in india we have different currency it means the consultant want to set up currency settings in us different taxation in india different taxation so before SAP, I mean, before using the SA, Indian users, consultant want to set up Indian taxation. In US, we have different legal rules. 
in India different legal rules. Before Indian users want to use before usage, consultant want to involve and they want to set up the legal rules. So rollout project means not only in India, any project, any country, if you expand your business one country to another country, one country to another country. So now you want to set up tax related configurations, currency related, currency related uh, configurations, legal rules, let us assume legal rules related uh, configurations legal rules related legal rules related configurations a lot many things it, it is so this type of things you need to configure so this is called rollout project this is called rollout project their business look i'm repeating once again everyone for my satisfaction purpose <coughs> let us assume I am a group of company located in US, let us assume located in US, there that people are already using in SAP and due to some XYZ reason, they want to expand their business US to India. So there the people using in India, so automatically SAP also will come US to India. In case the Indian users, if they want to use the SAP, Indian users, if they want to use the SAP, some certain configuration consultant to want to use, certain, I mean, configuration want to set up. Example, tax related information, currency related information, legal rules related information, some etc. XYZ, ETC. Why? Because currency, taxation, legal rules, US is different and India is different. So in case in, if the Indian users want to use, first they want to set up this type of things. Then they can start to use. It's called rollout project. It's called rollout project. Maximum uh, six months to, I mean, four to six months like that. Do not take more than that. Not take no more than that. Everyone, next one is called enhancement project. Enhancement project means lower version to higher version. Lower version to higher version. Always SAP will going to update na? update the versions. Enhancement project means we need to update the version. Consultant want to update the version. Okay. So this is the some basic information about the projects. Everyone, even some more projects also there like testing project also there testing project also there we will discuss what is meant by testing project why testing project and all okay so the next one is called uh, how to log in the system how to log in the system everyone better you can contact me i can give you server who the vendor number server who can provide the access for the practice so you can contact me i will share uh, server access provided vendor details then you can call and you can arrange the sap server for the practice every day you can watch the our session and do the practice on the sap everyone now my concern is how to log in the sap how to log in the sap and what is the basic settings of the SAP? What is the basic settings of the SAP? Once again, yeah. Yeah, yes, everyone. So now we can, how to log in the SAP. So you can arrange your SAP server access for the practice. Even that basis consultants also will guide you how to log in the SAP, okay? So they will guide you how to log in. Anyway, for my satisfaction, I will tell you. So everyone, this is called SAP logon. So I mean, this is called SAP logon path. The wherever you can take server access, the people will going to set up this server SAP logon. And you just double click on SAP logon. Double click on SAP logon.
and they will add all the credentials and all okay the basis consultant will add the credentials so you just double click on credentials i mean sap and here you can enter your username and password username and password and press enter everyone this is called sap easy access screen everyone concentrate everyone concentrate everyone i'm repeating once again i'm repeating once again everyone so how to log in the sap you just double click on sap logon and click on here your credentials then enter username and password then here this is called sap easy access screen everyone concentrate here, everyone concentrate here the end user end user on the production server end user on the production server they can use on sap easy access screen for example they will post quotations on sap easy access screen they will post uh, sales orders on sap easy access screen they will post the buildings on sap easy access screen they will generate the reports on sap easy access screen on the production system users will do their activity on the sap easy access screen how to do that i will tell you i will tell you how to post quotation inquiry and invoice blah 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 i will tell you let's try to understand where the end user will which screen end user can work which screen which screen consultant will work let us assume this is called sap easy access screen and some people will call as a this is called sap home screen some people called as a sap home screen and everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here the first one the first one is called menu bar first one is called menu bar this one is called tool bar tools this is called tool bar and this is called command box what it is it is called command box and this is sap menu this is sap menu here sales and distribution like uh, sales inquiry quotations order blah 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 it's widget okay anyway i will i will tell you okay how to do that activity and all and this is called sap menu and this is called status bar the white one is called status bar this is called status bar and uh, everyone concentrate here, everyone the last one is called standard bar obviously okay i'm repeating once again everyone i'm repeating once again this is called uh, menu bar and this is called tool bar and this is called uh, command box and this is called ribbon bar and this is called sap menu and this is called status bar and this is called standard bar okay so on the production server the users or end users they will do their activities report generation inquiry posting quotation posting billing posting all the activities they will do on the sap z access screen then where the consultant will do the configurations where the consultant will do the configuration on which screen on which screen everyone <coughs> concentrated everyone example go to spro otherwise go to some path sap menu and tools and customizing img implementation guide then here spro double click on spro click on here sap reference img on this screen img screen display img screen on this is the screen consultant can use to do the configurations on the development server 
everyone i am repeating once again everyone i am repeating once again so come to this path sap menu tools customizing img and spro execute the project double click on spro click on your sap reference img and this screen img screen consultant can do the configurations consultant can do the configurations everyone how the consultant will do the configuration how the end user will post the document entries how they will generate the reports each and every point we will discuss next class onwards everyone i am your punnam venkat if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share thank you everyone